Well, can you just talk about about how big a difference it is to to have a a, a player like Mariah at the point and, and and the impact that she had? I mean, almost overnight on this team. Yeah, um, I was telling her today before we even play. I'm like, you know, because we were able to practice like two times with her. I'm like, we can already see a difference. Um, pushing the pace, our fast break is fast <laughs> now. Um, and the way she sees the floor, not only that, um, she's also a penetrator. So she makes things happen for us on the offensive end. AP, when you made your first shot, you were really fired up, more <laughs> so than, you know, a normal first shot made. And then, you know, you kept that intensity and you parlayed it on, on the defensive side. Yeah. Um, Cheryl said she challenged you to to be more active on the yeah. glass and get more rebounds as what was your focus on that end of the floor coming into the game? I woke up from my nap, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to get some deflections. I'm going to get some rebounds today, and then I'm going to let, you know, the offense come to me. Um, I love Coach. You know, she believes in me, and she was talking to me about, hey, you know, offense will come. We don't care about that. Just get some defensive stops, get some rebounds, and do the other things and the other, you know, the other part of your game will come. So it's always good to have a coach that believes in you. And I think I needed to hear her say that, you know, um, because I was a little down on myself, but I wanted to give more than just scoring today. So my focus was rebounds, um, assists, and getting some deflection. So it helped me a lot. And Nina, for you, you were much more aggressive today than you you had been in in the previous games that you've been here. Just (laughs) what was it like for you to, you know, to – see the ball go through the net more often and have your teammates look for you when when you needed a basket? Yes, uh, well, I can say that I uh, finally introduced myself to the WNBA tonight. Uh, And I'm very grateful that the coach uh, trusts me. And, you know, I just focus every time to, you know, to be ready and to do my best every time she calls my name. And even if if that's 20 minutes or five minutes or, or 20 seconds, I just, I'm just focused always to do my best. And, you know, so, yeah, of course, I'm, I'm uh, happy that uh, I did my job uh, good tonight. And, uh, yeah, I, that's it. <laughs> uh, Coach Reeve mentioned during her uh, presser that um, you maybe had a little bit of a chip on your shoulder tonight, seeing others. <laughs> some other Euro players on the other side of the court. Um, what's it like when you're kind of like, you know, you grow up playing against some of these players and now you come stateside and you, you play against them? Yeah, obviously I have uh, experience playing uh, against, uh, actually against uh, a lot of players from, from the league. Uh, in EuroLeague, uh, I have experience playing on some high-level basketball. So um, I I met with these players uh, in Europe, so I like I know them a little bit, and I know their style and how they play. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, I uh, it, well, um, I mean, I we obviously do uh, good scouting, anyways, uh, and uh, the coaches and stuff make sure that we. Uh, uh, know what we need to do in defense, in offense, but it obviously helped that I knew these yeah. players from before. Yeah. So. yeah. And then what's kind of been the biggest um, transition going from Euro ball to here in the WNBA? Yeah, it's it's a little bit different. Um, here is um, faster basketball. It's um, more um, athletic and physical players, so it's it's uh, a bit more physical. So it's a little bit different, but but I like this kind uh, of basketball, and I I, I like uh, playing fast. So for me, it's it's uh, it's good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For for either one of you, um, fourth quarter when you guys are making that charge, the crowd is really starting to get into it. Uh, what? Uh, how helpful was that? And and what do you think of of, of their support? Um, I I was really excited. You know, it was good to especially how we came out for our first opening, um, our season opener. We didn't play like us. Today we felt like we did a lot better. The effort was there. The energy was there. And like I always say, we we get that energy from the crowd. You can see it. You know, we felt we felt like we owed the crowd that after our first opener. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get, in, get it done today. 
but we've done a lot better. You can see what, you know, the new players coming in, you know, you talked about Mo, just how much different we look. So I'm hoping that next next game we'll get a dub for sure. If we would have knocked down some free throws, um, myself included, I think we could have got the dub today for sure. AP, I noticed at the end of the third quarter, Avina really got into, I think it was either Quigley or yeah, the absolute right in the, in front of the bench. And yep. you were just screaming her ear off after that play. Yeah. And she's normally really calm, composed, <laughs> and, and you're obviously, you know, very fiery. Just what was it like for, for you to see the, see the way that you put energy into the game really come out in her on the defensive end of the floor? It was fun. Um, for me, I look to bring the energy out of my teammates, you know, because I feel like when we all have that, that energy going, it's just very contagious. And when I seen her do it, it was just like, hell yeah, that's a good stop. Like, that's what we need. That's the energy we need on defense. So I made sure I came over there and, and clapped her hand and said, good job, because I think we all need that. When you, you know, when you do something good, you want to you want to, you know, hype your teammates up so we can keep doing that. Um, but that was that was a big time in the game when she did it too. So it was it was fun to see her out there and playing well and confident. Uh, Eric, over the first three games, the opponent would get on a run and you guys could not stop that run. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes it went for a quarter. Like, mm -hmm. Tonight, Chicago had its runs, yeah. but you guys were able to stop the bleeding. Why? Why is it, what was the biggest change? Um, I think really, um, coach was in our butt the last couple of practices. I'm not going to even hold you. And she was just saying, you know, this is not who we are and we need to do better defensively. And I think we took pride in it today. You know what I mean? From, from everybody. And, and she talked a lot about if it's one player that messed up on defense, that could be the one the one stop that we needed. So just trying to all be collectively together on defense and not let the other opponent just run over us because that's not who we are. Uh, and I, you know, Coach was the first to say there's no such thing as moral victories with the Lynx, but this was a big progress game, and you got to feel some confidence coming yeah. out of this. And, and now there's a very good chance that you'll have Kayla yeah. next time you play. Yeah. I mean, what will that addition mean? <clears throat> A lot. Um, I know she doesn't talk about moral victories. I think because of, you know, all the situations, a lot of movement, not being able to get some chemistry together. This was the first time that we kind of looked more like us. I can't wait for Kayla to get back. Hopefully she is back soon. Um, she'll open up the floor. She's a shooter. You know, even if she's having a bad night, you have to respect her because she might hit that three that just wins the game. So she'll open up the floor for us, too. So I'm excited to have her back, hopefully, hopefully soon.